My family celebrates Kwanzaa. My family celebrates Kwanzaa. Read by Miss Moody, written by Lisa Bullard. Table of Contents. Chapter One. Hi, I'm Kevin. We're getting ready for Kwanzaa. That's a special holiday for my family. It celebrates our African-American culture. My mom puts a mat on the table. I add the candle holder and candles. Mom adds fruits and vegetables. Next comes the unity cup. We put out presents too. Now we're ready for Kwanzaa. What holiday is Kevin's family getting ready for? Oh, I wish I was reading this in class. You could answer it. Of course, it's Kwanzaa. Chapter two, lighting the candles. Kwanzaa lasts for seven days. We light another candle each night. My grandpa goes first. Tonight, he lights the black candle. Then grandpa explains the Kwanzaa word for the first day. Every day has a special word in Swahili. That's an African language. Grandpa's word means unity. That means sticking together as a group. Sticking together is why Kwanzaa began. A man named Dr. Moala Karinge created Kwanzaa in 1966. He wanted to bring African Americans together. How many days does Kwanzaa last? Remember, seven days? Chapter three, another word each night. Somebody new lights the candles each night. I watch closely, so I'm ready for my turn. Mom lights the candles on the third night. We talk about helping one another solve problems. Oops. My brother lights the candles on the fifth night. We talk about setting goals to help our community. My goal is to be a teacher. The sixth night of Kwanzaa is my favorite. We go to a big party every year. Who lights the candles on the third night? Oh, it's like questioning us, right? Chapter four, my turn. It's the last day of Kwanzaa. I finally get to light the candle. Grandpa says my special word means faith. He said, I should believe in our people every day. That will be like living Kwanzaa all year long. What does Kevin's special word mean? Faith. learn about the holidays so it gives us even more information well i hope you enjoyed it girls and boys happy kwanzaa